Hurricane Lee is quickly making its way up the Atlantic coast. It is expected to make landfall in the Carolinas. The impact of the storm is forecasted to be significant. As the storm continues to progress, the odds of it making a direct hit on the Carolinas are looking more and more likely. People are taking extra precaution in preparation for the storm's arrival. The effects of Hurricane Lee's direct hit will no doubt cause a variety of destruction. Winds of up to 100 miles per hour may be possible as well as flooding from the sentinel storm surges. Officials are warning against the dangers of staying in easily flooded areas near the ocean. Everyone is being advised to evacuate the most at-risk areas and take refuge in safer havens. Emergency shelters have been set up to provide a safe and reliable place for those affected by the storm. Many people are taking their chances and trying to just stay put and weather through the hurricane. Those who rely on the ocean as their source of income, such as fishermen and other seafarers, are now making preparations to protect their livelihoods before the storm hits. As Hurricane Lee moves closer to land, its reach will become more widespread and devastating. It is expected to cause extensive damage along the east coast, from North Carolina to Delaware. People living in this region are particularly concerned about the intensity of the storm. Some have already started to make emergency plans and are preparing supplies in order to keep their families safe. Local authorities are urging people to evacuate the coastal areas if they haven't done so already. It is important to follow all safety protocols and act accordingly based on precautions. If preparations are not taken on time, the results could be catastrophic. Seems to be picking up speed as it gets closer to land. And one can only imagine what kind of damage would be caused by such a powerful hurricane. Waves are forecasted to start sweeping the coastline, with some experts expecting up to 10 feet in height. This could cause major destruction along the coastline, and maybe even further inland. Roads, bridges, and other infrastructure may be compromised by the high winds or the rising sea levels. It is essential that people plan accordingly and stay out of any contested areas. The effects of the storm will also reach inland, with possible flooding occurring in areas closer to larger rivers. This could have an impact on farmland, and make it hard to transport goods. Climate experts and researchers have been monitoring the storm for weeks and are now emphasizing on the need to act in a timely manner in order to minimize the damage it will cause. If Hurricane Lee was to make a direct hit in the Carolinas, this could cause major disruptions for the whole region. It is important to reflect on the warnings given by authorities like evacuating when necessary. Fortunately, technology and access to information have been helpful in tracking the movements of the storm. Despite this, everyone needs to remain vigilant and take the necessary steps to protect themselves. It is possible to prepare for the storm by doing some of the usual safety protocols such as stocking up on supplies, securing windows, and having access to communication devices. Everyone needs to be ready and have an emergency plan in case of sudden changes in the storm's path or intensity. Doing these things may help people stay safe during the hurricane. It is important to remain informed of the storm's progression in order to adjust to the changes in real time. This may be difficult however, as communication networks can get unreliable during the storm. 
Extra care should be taken for those that are most vulnerable, such as the elderly and young children, in order to ensure their safety throughout the hurricane. In order to avoid disaster, governments and citizens alike need to work together and put in the effort to be aware of the storm's movements and intensity. People should also stay away from the coastal areas and minimize their trips to the beach until Hurricane Lee passes. This will help reduce the possibility of any casualty or extra destruction. As Hurricane Lee continues to advance towards its destination, people from all over the affected regions are trying to work together and get ready for its arrival. Preparing for such a catastrophic event can be challenging, but it is essential in order to face it with the best possible outcome. Every effort to keep safe during the storm is essential. Hurricane Lee is forecasted to make its way to the Carolinas in the coming days. Everyone should remain alert and take all necessary steps to ensure their protection before and during the storm.